Let's go ahead and get this started. So this is Light Painting Brushes Live for May. Um, tonight, you know, I'm really excited. We got Dimitri Demick back from the UK. Um, we're going to do an amateur breakdown. We've got Laura Del Prato. Was that right? You got it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so with that, uh, first up is Dimitri. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you and, uh, you know, where you're from. So hello, everyone, again. Um, my name is Dmitry Guszkiewicz. I came from Poland. I, I lived the last past eight years in UK in a south coast. And uh, yeah, I'm doing light painting around four years. And yeah, it's been it's been a great journey. I, I met so many amazing people so far. And and I think I just I found my place, you know, because I used to doing sport in my life, but because of injury, I had to give up. And uh, I was kind of lost and just light painting gave, gave me like new hobby and uh, it just became more than hobby. It became way, way far than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't go back. I'm, I'm really, I'm really thinking I actually find myself after many years and I'm wishing everyone probably you're all feeling the same because light painting is just, is something where... <sighs> You can't even subscribe by words. Those feelings, what we having by by our creations, is they unrepeatable. And and you know, I'm just speechless. Sometimes we all are probably, and it's been just great, great journey. And hopefully, it's gonna last forever. Well, yeah. I, I can tell you, Dimitri, man, it's uh, it's definitely a pleasure to have you in the community. Just uh, you know, the, just yeah, what you what you contribute and and your work and everything. So it's always a pleasure to thank sit you very much. You, so yeah, uh, you know, tell us a little bit. I know you were on the show before, but let's uh, just for those that that don't know, you know, how long have you been light painting? Um, just yeah. just tell us a little bit. How did you discover light painting? Yeah, uh, like like I for I I mean light painting four and a half years. Probably I got my first camera around, around five years ago. So I was a bit like looking what I'm gonna do because uh, I live on a literally next to the sea. So I was like first sunset, sunrise and all that landscapes. I love landscapes and then like astro. So I found more going to like night photography than actually after some time after daytime. So I was looking myself and uh, I start with long exposures, few seconds, six, eight, ten seconds with like light trails, whatever. I was going to London often with my friends, doing like exposures. But what was like um, those lights was out of my con like my control. And you know when you wanna like draw something or something, you couldn't. So you have to wait, 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 and wait. And it it was a bit like not what I want really, because you want I wanna be like master of my think what I'm doing, you know, and then my friend, he's an astrophotographer, very, very clever guy. He told me about light painting. He told me there is some people who are they creating shapes by light. I was just like, I, I, I knew kind how, how it's going to work because like a uh, light trail. So we're leaving all actually like light trails with uh, different sources of the lights, you know, so I was just like, wow. So he gave me two torches. I just run around and do a few swells and and yeah, we had first like painting picture, you know, and uh, then through the social media, I found the rest of the hidden world because it is obviously a bit hidden and you have to spend time to get through the hashtags or whatever, like uh, communities. And uh, and first, when you like, when you see whatever group, you just like, you can't believe what, you, what, you, what people can create is like out of this world is nothing to like compare with any any pictures we actually can see is more like uh, graphic designs like uh, like you know like album covers or whatever is uh, is just you can't even you can't even just like you can't believe it, it's all done in camera just you know you, yeah you know, yeah and um yeah that's it, it's great and like i said again yeah want to you know say again thank thank you so much for being here so um yeah so, you know i personally have a mission to break down the negative stereotypes pertaining to double exposure light painting um yeah whether that's achieved in camera function or you know live composite um you being an artist that uses live composite 
Yeah. Could you give us your thoughts surrounding, you know, double exposure yeah. or live yeah. compo composite um, being used and, and welcomed within light painting? Yeah, yeah. So um, I started with like uh, from APS-C format camera, like half year. Then I moved to the uh, mirrorless mirror Z6, which I was on about two years. So I learned from in my early stage of like uh, light painting, I learned actually on a on a black screen. Let's say that how 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 is how is how it is, and uh, yeah, I'm getting what people saying uh, uh, like uh, old school light painting or whatever is more excitement because you never gonna you never you never know what what you're gonna have. But if you if you chasing perfection, you kind of lost. You know what I'm saying because you don't know if you're going in in the right direction. So you have to repeat that process all the time. Which okay, when you're stopping picture, you kind of limited with uh, not maybe not limited. Uh, it's wrong, but you kind of doing everything in a in a in a blind. So example, I can I can take pictures around five six minutes. So if you're gonna and thanks to light painting, I can realize in a, in a, in a second minute I done some mistake. I'm starting again. I can't erase or take my elements back and uh, leave them where I'm actually happy with. It's impossible, yeah. Right. Because th there is there is some option in a, in a, in a few cameras where it's called multi exposure, yeah. So this is will let you as well start the pictures, but you can take that frame where you're not happy with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got like Canon got like up to nine uh, pictures in one. So you can do light painting with this, which in my opinion, yeah, this is cheating because you can you can master it one frame and in getting 50 times second time, 50 times another one and going back if you're not happy. With light painting is uh, you got what you got. The only uh, benefit from you you actually can see in a real life what's going on. But it doesn't help you in any, any with mistakes or whatever. It's just like uh, it helps you to see. And if you can carry on or you can put more, more, more light to it, you can control more the, the picture, I think. Well, I think, so, I think one thing, I think uh, more people should be acceptant of the fact that the camera is nothing more than a tool. Um, using yeah. it as, as yeah. a tool, you know, and using that for light painting. Um, you know, I, I see you use a term quite a bit, uh, stencil. Could you tell yeah. us what you're referring to and, and how do you yeah. use stencil within your work? Um, I know you wanted to share your screen and show us. Yes, some yes, yes. Yeah, so go ahead. So, um, you know, I'm always, I'm always, let, let's quick talk. Uh, I'm always inspired by like, People were just like uh, bringing something more like um, in, so in light painting, we know there is you can change even lens lenses through the exposure on a, on a old cameras. DSLR is impossible on mirrorless because it's stopping pictures straight away. Yeah. So the same, the, the biggest problem with digital stencils is uh, get focus, right? Because you might you might have. If you got free exposures or in, in one picture, of course, in one single frame, if you're having free exposures, you need to have three different focuses points. Yeah. So you need to have manual lens without any electronics. And then and then let me show you. Maybe it's, it's my, it may be later, but stencils. So you can see my screen now, yeah? Yes. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So yeah. So I met. I met first time. Not first time. It was second time when I met Mark Barras. As we know, he's uh, one of the guys with digital stencils. He done uh, image breakdown for light painting brushes. I think for uh, his work. So he he kind of explained me how how it worked. But as you see in this picture, we lost focus because I couldn't. It was a normal lens. It was a, a autofocus lens. So it, it wasn't kind of work, yeah? So then this is stencil as well, yeah? But it's just cut it like uh, oranges, yeah? 
and placed first front of the camera, yeah? And then of course, this is another digital stencils what I've done with, um, with fiber optic. So they're not digital ones, but it was my a bit path to the digital ones. And then- uh, That's one of my favorites right there, man. That's- uh, Yeah. I love that. So, and, and so this is Fela, Fela, I call this um, uh, Neutron, if I, good, if I remember good, Neutron, yeah. So I draw this Fela, and as you're gonna see later, uh, this is screen, yeah? So you can see the screen, yeah, iPad? Yeah. Yeah, so I draw this Fela, of course. So, let, let me maybe explain you how digital stencils working for me. Is, is my setup, we're going maybe a bit forward, yeah, with my picture, yeah? But this is kind of show how I'm, I'm putting background digital stencils into my, into my camera. So that way I need like, uh, I, I carry roughly about four or five tripods. I got three small ones and two big ones, yeah? Because as you see, it's a small one on a macro one, on a macro amount, yeah? And then you need another one for iPad, yeah? So this is example. Uh, now these are all your creations that you're using within your, your images, like... Um uh this I, this wasn't my one i literally i found this fella and i didn't know he's like norton or something he's like um antivirus logo right. but this is example was done by me oh wow uh, so so i i'm i'm drawing in a in a procreate on an ipad yeah an example i create this one uh so we got this picture effect of uh mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boom. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you see now why, why you need like two, uh, you need like four tripods because you need to get maybe three or four, whatever. Uh, it, it minimum is a three because you need to get first plan, yeah, which is here all around, yeah. And then you need to have second setup with uh, with digital stencil, yeah? Which you're gonna master it through the picture. It's not gonna go well in the first time. So you you adjusting everything. And that way taking like two hours, sometimes one picture. Cause you know, is is just, is impossible to get this right in, in the first time. Hey, hey, Dimitri, so you recently shared down there at the bottom that uh, 4806, um, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that 4840 right there. Um, can you go ahead and open that one up? Boom. 4840 is one what we're going to talk about, yeah? Yeah, this thing right here, man. When I when I yeah. saw it, I always love seeing just new, brand new stuff, you know, because I look at thousands and thousands of yeah. videos and um, <laughs> see the way that people use different tools. And I always love seeing the different variations that people do. But what was so intriguing about this was with the serpent blade there, how you've got that to spin right there in the middle. And, and yeah. You know, automatically reached out to you <laughs> how did you how did you create that like with that rotation right there in the middle yeah yeah it, it was rotation so uh, let me show you something i so story was i mount no 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 so let's start from have you got this picture now yeah so yes. so this is tool what i'm using for rotations yeah this is a it called uh, Stroke Pro, and it, it made in Germany by by Prius Martin. I'm I'm his tester, so if you got any questions, I can I can I can give you all answers. Yeah. So this is torch, yeah, with the cable, and that cable goes to remote. So this is actually remote, and this is whole like unit because you can you got three different strobes. First one is a one-to-one -one stroke 
which light and dark have the same time. Second one is a, a, a second one, the middle flash strobe, which light got only five milliseconds on. And the third one is a, uh, third one is a ribbon strobe, which is a change from 50 to 100 waves of the light. And I've used this third, uh, third function. By these dials, you can you can uh, get uh, uh, wavelengths. You know what I'm saying? Like so how quick like uh, the, the the strobe? Yeah. Uh, just the the strober. Like yeah. it, this thing is all kinds of strobe modes, and yeah, this is yes, yes, and it is fully custom customable by by this. Yeah. So I mount this this flash. So I, I, I put like a, a light painting, of course, brushes uh, connector on it. And uh, I mounted a small uh, tripod. Of course, I had this on a cable, so I could, I could switch it on and off whenever I want. Yeah. And uh, I placed, first of all, I placed... Uh, um, Uh, yeah, we got this. Yes. So it was it was kind of like you see it, it wasn't straight. It was kind of bent in a position, and uh, my my first first tripod uh, was with uh, with rotator. Camera was on 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 a rotator tool, and uh, I just spun the camera and I and I just click remote because I, I was like a bit two meters away. So it was first seen, but first I tried. I tried few times as always with light. With uh, so this is image what I've tried, and I and I see how it's gonna look. Uh, actually, this pattern in a camera. So as you see, I used a fish eye lens. So that way I got that shape. And uh, so this was my this was my second setup. First setup was on a blade with rotator camera. Second setup was on a with small two tripods uh, on a screen. Yeah, and I I literally start spinning. Yeah, so I done this. I didn't like. I I really love this one, but I don't know why I didn't continue this one. Because this one, I think, is even, I'm not saying better, but is, is good as well. You, you know, you said something, too. I, I can't wait for Johnny to see this. Because he, when he talks about the Serpent Blade, he always talks about the edges, um, you know, yeah. being underutilized. And just, uh, so it's interesting to me that you said, you know, placing it more at an angle to actually get that, um, yeah. get that the, that, the the ends there. So that's really cool. Yeah. So, Look, you got. It, it depends how quick you're rotating your camera or your your setups of that. Because I I done I done this picture, didn't work. Kind of. I done this one, didn't work. So I was I was just like, in a madness to create this. And then at the end, here we go. We got the right one. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see, this is this is double, a bit of double ex not exposure. Is actually is a triple even, because this was and I will sh I will show you this setup. So my uh, my actually camera was on a on a macro mount, and uh, so I could I could be precise of moving up and down camera. So. I had this on a on a manual lens. I create kind of zoom. Yeah, you, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Because you by those dials you can move this whole thing. Yeah, is a macro uh, mount. So you're basically doing a zoom pull, but you're doing it by moving the the camera yes. rather than doing the camera. It. Yes, right. perfect. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. So I create first one, and then. 
I had I had first one done already, and I just moved back camera to get a bit like zoom, and I done second one. Of course, I cup I cup it first one, uncup it, cup back, then move back camera, cup it again, uncup it, and boom. Job's done. Yeah. Well, it's 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 a beautiful uh piece, man. And like I said, I'm just so at the um that center there to where it's just just spinning and just uh, the yeah the ghosting is so cool and like i said i always love seeing something <laughs> something new there so dimitri tell us um so i i've asked some light painters to find inspiration from what they see you know what they yeah. hear, what they feel what would you say is your biggest form of uh of inspiration um just from what you create um it's you know what I'm watching. I'm I'm what with I'm very I'm very falling in love with digital stencils. You know, it's just something what you you can't create those shapes by lights. Of, of course, some people might love it. Some people might might say no. This is something I I just at the end of the day just do what makes you happy. If you're happy with this picture, okay. If you know, it, there are always going to be people who they're going to dislike this, and uh, you can't give up. Sometimes you're losing your path, but I'm inspired by people like the uh, first time I, I, I've seen digital stances, it was reuse work. That guy, what he done uh, for light painting paradise, that torch. Yeah, yeah. He, he done that unicorn, I think, inside the, some like forest. And it was just like, I say, like, oh my gosh. And then everyone using stances, Tom Hill. Mark, Mark Barras, they are they are masters. They literally, I just I even even if let's say I'm good and you just see the pictures, you're just saying you you're going down, <laughs> you, you can't even even see where you're going by by saying Tim Gamble is another guy. He's just there is something more, you know. And even if I'm showing my pictures to my friends, they just looking at me and they just no way you've done this in, in a camera, you know. And uh, if I if I don't get me wrong, if I will live in places like uh, like you guys or wherever, Australia, New Zealand, I wouldn't probably carry on all my digital stuff and on stencils because you got landscapes. You, you you need to just create orb there and that's it. Like you, Jason, place where places where you're going is just like, but I haven't got those places around me, man. I got like few parks, few tunnels, and England is a bit different country. That way, I think we. We going for digital world more than than other other nations, you know. You know what I'm saying? Because we just we, we we need to we need to find something something different, you know. Because we 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 haven't got much. At least you're gonna travel every day, six hours or four hours, you know, getting locations, which is almost impossible, you know. If you wanna be like um, all the time active, you know, it's so, interesting you say that because if you think about um, groups of yeah. white from around the world, just um, that yeah. there's not really a similarity to their work like that everybody has their individual stuff but it's it's neat to hear what you just said because um you know you when you think about england or scotland or through there you know you, yeah you would think you'd be more indoors more often than none you know just it's yeah. just more chance of rain and stuff like that so but it's yeah. interesting i just when when you were talking about that just different areas and how it contributes to the type of work that you do yeah yeah uh, um, you know you know, you hands down, have, I, I feel, have become so good with the Serpent tool. Uh, one of the best using that tool. Um, you know, can you give us any pointers that you have found using the Serpent tool, um, the light painting precious tool? Man, it, it, you know, what, why is that your favorite? Why do you why do you use that so much? Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? It's, uh, it's just that unique shape, you know, you got you got you got not hundreds, maybe, let's say. But around hundred different blades, yeah, from different companies. But is when I saw this shape first, I think Jason, you posted first like that uh, trial with uh, with something in it before it came out, and it was just like wow, it it got the most is first of all is a limited edition. So when you got something where it's limited, you you treating this more like uh, with carefully and all that stuff, and secondly. I think every blade is different yeah. and you're going to have different traces from whatever you're doing because they, they handmade by, by um, Johnny in it. So, yeah. And 
I think that's, that's edge. Yeah. That's definitely one of my favorite things about that tool is the not yeah. a single one is the same. Every one of them is yeah. different. Every one of them yeah. is a whole different element of just that yeah. blues and it, whether you get the blue one or the red one. But yeah, it's such Come a cool on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, what what would you tell someone who is just starting out in light painting? Or what kind of advice would you want to share with the light painting community? Uh, you know what? Just do what makes you happy and uh, share your passion around because, you know, if if we got more of us, our community, like, growing and uh, we can make tools, we can make something, it's just like, I, I don't want to, because sometimes I got feeling we we're going a bit down with our our art, you know, which like light painting paradise, they, they close the shop. And, uh, you know, it's not many people in UK as well. They don't want to see us as a like uh, in a, in, in a, on a big screens or whatever. But I think we should go through all that, all that stuff, because if, if, if it's more of us that way, we need to share that knowledge with everyone and you need to be respectful uh, differently than other photographers because yeah i can get they say oh it's their job they can't they can't tell you their secrets and everything i want to just be be different than them you know because if if it's more of us we are stronger and like i'm saying we are look what other people does like uh what you interview people what they creating great stuff with the rock stars with whatever we we more we're going up you know and this is what it's about get get stronger respect everyone and support each other you know and hopefully, you know, one day we're going to be like, we're going to live from like painting, which is be the biggest, the biggest achievement, you know, of, of what we're doing, you know. You know, not, not only that, to me, what's awesome is, you know, here we are, we're sitting in this room, you know, and we've yeah. got from all over the world, you know, there's people yeah. from all over the world that, that watch yeah. these videos and we're bringing everybody yeah. together. And so, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Um Dimitri, man, what, what's the best way to follow your work? Um, you know, just on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, and yeah. With that too, if anybody has any questions, if they want to chime into the chat there, Jason's watching the chat. We yeah, can I've, I've got a couple. I, I personally have some questions, but um, can you bring the, Dimitri, will you bring your final image back up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I just want to, kind of clarify so everybody understands what's happening here um so you are doing a camera rotation first all yes one your camera rotation on the serpent plexi then you're capping the lens you're physically yeah. moving the camera to another tripod doing yes uncapping exposing a little bit then manually yep. pushing the camera in zooming it all in the same exposure here and, yes. and uncapping the lens and trying to line all of this up. No, it was lined everything before, Jason. That way, uh, uh, that way, I'm using uh, I'm using like um, quick uh, quick relay stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Which, which got only one position when you're clicking in on. So I'm I'm set up everything before. I'm lining up everything before. And literally, I'm taking, I'm pushing one button to release camera and pushing back to another one. So I can't miss anything. Yeah. Okay. okay. And but it's, everything it's, is done. It's it's literally different tripods that you're actually moving the camera to, correct? No, no, no. Camera, uh, tripods, they stay in the same place. I'm right, but the camera's tripod. moving from one one tripod to the yeah. other, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Obviously, I'm, 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 ridiculously incredible that you're doing all of that <laughs> um and let's see the the uh carol asked uh, just how do you get the light painting in the center of the background so i think that was to that question is you're basically lining it all up doing a bunch of test shots and then doing yeah. all that but even even though you're saying you're going to get everything lined up we all know <laughs> that it's never like just doing the rotation as you showed the different rotations, like you want to get that perfect rotation, right? And however you envision it. So, yeah, you know, we, I think maybe we all have a tendency when we do something complicated to simplify it in our own brains, but what you've done here is extremely complicated and complex. 
So sorry, sorry, guys. You just yeah, made no, it. no, no, <laughs> no apologies needed. I just wanted to like, <laughs> you know, we all have yeah. a tendency to do that. I think and be like, oh yeah, you just gotta, you know, put it on one tripod, rotate it around like you know forty times. Yeah. And- the exact thing and then you take it and you put it on another tripod and then you uncap the lens and you push in then you cap the lens and you pull back a little bit and you uncap the lens it's easy you know <laughs> and then boom you got an image you know yeah I, anyway, I, we have I a guys, tendency I, to do that so i, I, I prom- i'm promising to do video every time but i'm literally i'm so busy with all that stuff but definitely i'm gonna do video for you and uh, it's gonna go on the channel wherever my one is gonna be bts soon um, um, definitely, I promise. I promise it, and I'm going to explain you everything step by step. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure everyone Please. will love to see that, dude. So the work is incredible. Thank you, and uh, thank Michael you. Also in here, it's the the community aspects and the sharing techniques in light painting that make our community so special. And I couldn't agree with that more. So thank you for everything yeah. sharing, man. I really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone. Thank else you, yeah, Dimitri. Thank you so much, man. Just keep up the amazing. Thank you you know continue to be a great ambassador in the light painting community and it's it's all i'm not yet i'm not yet nobody right. made me well you, you're you're an ambassador within the community for sure so you know really appreciate you listen guys i i couldn't i couldn't be more happy than and i i i don't want to even be in a different place where i am now dealing with all of you people and i want to see more stencils i want to see more work and if anyone got any question please just text me and I will explain you step by step because it's a bit kind of explained everything to everyone because we all got different cameras and everything. So if I will see people's problem and their equipment, then I might help everyone like uh, separately, you know. But like I'm saying, I'm here to help all the time. Thank you very much for everything. Yes, yeah. thank you, Dimitri. Appreciate you.